Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here from BBMG Modeling Tutorial Series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to make the configurations for BMG. so whatever you see here um, we're going to make the descriptions, the configurations and the images for them so everything you'll need um, yeah we've just got the there it is, the basic info.json file in here um, which just makes it appear like this um, yeah let me show you that real quick there you go this is it this is the info.json file um, you might see that uh, uh, only what I've shown in the videos uh, there's a little bit new things first of all we've got default paint name one uh, that's basically just what paint is going to be used for the first paint in here, obviously, you can change to paint name three, uh, two, and three. Uh, yeah. Then we have the paints in uh, in here. Between those uh, two brackets, we've got uh, yeah, we've got the paints. First of all, we have the name. For example, here, this Alpina White, uh, which is this. Uh, and also, here you can see those are what are come with the factory. And yeah, then we just um, values for base color, so RGBA values, and then we've got clear coat, clear coat roughness, metallicness, and roughness. So you can see it's pretty matte um, thing because uh, yeah, basically we've got uh, complete roughness and uh, now metallicness. And uh, let's see uh, the iron green one. That's the metallic color. So you can see, oh, that's it. And this is glacier blue, which is metallic, but uh, uh, without uh, any real amount of clear coat. So, yeah, that's a classic metallic look you can see. And yeah, there's nothing more than that. And this is basically just um, to show right here. Or just the information to show in this um, in this menu where you can see the, the models, um, but uh, not the specific configurations. And then, if you don't have any extra configurations in your mod, it will just make the default one, um, which will just uh, spawn uh, all the uh, default uh, slots. So that what that's what uh, happens when you spawn that one. So we are going to create uh, a few uh, configurations, actually just two, to just show the different ones. And yeah, first one would be this one, which is the default. So Control W to go into vehicle config, then to save and load. And we're going to make a custom configuration where we turn on, turn off, generate thumbnail. And yeah, I'm just going to call it 3UI because it's a 3.2 liter um, inline six technically in this car I'm just gonna go ahead and save and I'm also um, make a little bit of a sportier version there you go and yeah we're just going to and I'm also going to change the color to this yellow which I uh, really like and I'm going to name it 332i underscore sport doesn't really matter what you name it um, you're going to change that anyway so yeah now we've got these two configurations here, you can see we've got this one and this one and they are saved in the user folder under vehicles and then so and here you have them, I'm going to copy them into my project folder, there you go uh, let's get back into our mod folder, there you go and now that we have these two configurations, put them in here. And now we actually got them as yeah, you can see it's two in in the game here. There isn't any information yet here because we need to make the info files for them, and we're also going to make the pictures. So uh, yeah, to make the info file, I guess there it is. Uh, let's just. Copy one. The COVID, yeah, I don't really care where it's from. Um, yeah, 
I at the bottom let's see yeah which is like a I think this is like the standard one here yeah let's just take that copy I close this uh yeah just yeah, maybe oh well, I could close it a little bit too soon. There you go. And let's rename it to info 332i. So it will correspond. Oh, wait. There you go. So it will correspond to these two, will correspond to each other. And There you go, and well, you can just change any kind of values in here that you'd want. Um, yeah, I hate to had to take, would have to take uh, measurements for for this. So, yeah, maybe we can just do that. Um, let's take the base model, um, and let's see where's like the the performance. No per performance time. There you go. Just gonna put it up here and uh, let's see uh oh wait it ends when I get off the uh uh throttle okay let's go full power okay zero to a hundred in 8.33 seconds, so let's go 8.3 and you can, you know, measure all the other things as well. Let's do the um, 100 to 0 test. Okay, that would be 40, wait, no, not 60, 100 to 0, 40 meters, point 0.1, okay, and yeah, you can obviously change everything else. Okay, so the config type is, um, well, we so it could be factory or custom, but there's obviously a factory version, so uh, yeah, keep it at that. Then we have configuration, which is actually the name of the configuration, which will, which is this. So this would be the GT DCT. Um, yeah, you just have the name of your configuration, and then usually what kind of gearbox you have. So I just go with three, two, I for this one, and yeah, I don't know. Just put in some kind of description. Uh, base is model with. I don't know, what does it have? Not really much. Something like that. Drive train would be rear wheel drive. Um, induction, no induction. And then obviously change like off road score, performance class, and all the different kinds uh, of measurements. Um, this is in kilowatts, and yeah, I think that should be newton meter. We have 180 newton meters actually of torque. Um, top speed, I don't know. This is meters per second, um, 44. Uh, I think it's like 180. Uh, so yeah, well, not uh, yeah, that's 160. Whatever. And yeah, you could change where the power power um then where the power peak is at and just you know give the um yeah can uh, give the right information to whatever vehicle you have and and at the last thing you get the default paint name in our case for this base model it's the um Al alpina white I hope i spelled it correctly yep I did and let's just do 
the same thing with the sport version. So let's go in here and the only thing I'm going to change is first the color. So that's going to be the, um, the yeah, that yellow, the kind of yellow. And also the name, so I just, yeah, I guess, so like that, let's put it up a performance class and yeah, power is the same. Also value, um, well, change how much, how much it is worth. Also, let's look at the weight real quick, okay, 1060. And yeah, then we have the infos, info files, and uh, let's just copy those over if we now go back again into the vehicle selection and yeah you should see we have the different names we have the descriptions we have the yeah oh and by the way you can see in here um with the pc file that we saved uh yeah it saves the paints in here uh, i don't know why but yeah you don't need that and for the sport one you can see that yeah since this one is just the base one uh doesn't change any parts and you can see here's the entire list of parts that it uses so yeah that's that's what actually gives bmg the information on what car to actually spawn so yeah you know and you can also remove the license name and main part name uh, yeah i guess you don't need that There you go. Go then in here again. Does we change what we can see? That spawns in the white base model with the standard tires. And that spawns in oh my god. With <laughs> the yellow wheels. Um I think they're on paint two. No, three. Yeah, they're on paint three. So here, for example, you could change um, paint number, um, default paint name three to something like the uh, Alpina White. In my case, which uh, yeah, I'm just going to do right now. So default paint name three uh, is going to be the Alpina White. There you go. Ah, good. Now we have uh, the white, white wheels, and you can see it. Uh, it worked, and now we go to the actual images for, uh, yeah, for vehicles. Obviously, another thing. For example, if you click on here, it does spawn uh, this one, but. If we go into the info file, you can see the default underscore PC. Um, we just, uh, yeah, I'm going to rename that to i dot dot p to this. So it automatically loads the 332i as the standard. Um, yeah, when you just double click it, and it's also the one it it should pre-select but if it doesn't we don't have that here see so if we go click this it automatically selects the uh, special v8 because that's the default oh so, yeah if we copy this again and then go there it is then go in here then it automatically selects the 3c to i as the standard Good, uh, yeah, now let's go and take the pictures. We go to free roam and then check this box out right here, include auxiliary debug content, which shows us the showroom, which we're going to spawn into. And yeah, it's uh, just uh, a map, basically, with these two um, environments, two zones. But zone A, where you take the standard pictures for uh, the previews, of the configurations and we have zone B um, you just saw that in a loading screen uh, yeah that's that's where uh, those pictures are from
Uh, yeah, so let's go back to zone A. Actually, we can just go thumbnail generator and then search for our vehicle. Where is the tutorial? There. Select it. And then just go ahead and run thumbnails. And it's just going to take the photos of your vehicle. And then if you go, thank you, go in here and you go to, there is my screen tutorial, um, we get the two photos. And um, by the way, uh, it says uh, you should disable uh, dynamic reflection, which is true. Otherwise, it, won't, uh, it will look different from the other photos. And yeah, that's uh, how it looks the best. And these photos are again saved in the uh, vehicles folder here in the user folder. You can see there's a default one. I don't know why every time I take the default picture, it gets cut off at the bottom, but no problem. Let's just delete this and copy it over here. And again, duplicate the um, default, the uh, picture from the default one and Rename it to default, uh, which will make it show up. Yeah, it will show up, right? It will show up here uh, on the front. We you know you, uh, I, I just uh, removed it, so let's copy it over. I'll reload. And they... Okay, I don't know why it's cut off, to be honest. It seems to be problem that I have. Let's go back to the grid map. Yeah, you can see there's the two different ones. And that's the default. I'm not too sure why it doesn't work. Is there no default in here? No, not. Uh, I guess it was just a Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, well, now when I reloaded it, now it works. And we've got our two pictures here. And yeah, that's already it for this episode. I hope you guys learned something new with it. And yeah, go ahead and like the video if you liked, dislike if you didn't. And I see you guys again in the next episode.